In an effort to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, engineers have been exploring alternative forms of propulsion for automobiles. One of the top automotive corporations conducting research into alternative systems is Toyota, with their new gasoline thermal efficient engine. This search has led engineers to unexpected locations, pushing them to find ways to make it not only more efficient in terms of saving gas, they embarked on a journey on how to convert saved gasoline into more power, increasing its thermal efficiency. Welcome to today's episode of High Technology. If you're as curious as I am how Toyota is taking their engine to the next level, then you have come to the right video. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you would get updated when another mind-blowing video like this comes up. Now, join us as we explore Toyota's incredible new engine which is shocking the whole automotive industry. Toyota is one of the best automakers in the world. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and chip scarcity, the corporation sold close to 10.5 million cars last year, despite the fact that the industry as a whole wasn't doing that well. How did Toyota earn the fate of so many people around the world? There are several causes for this. Toyota continues to produce high-quality vehicles despite the intensifying competition and as a result, its models can be found among the best cars in practically every category. Everyone will be able to discover something they desire with a Toyota or affiliated logo because the corporation also produces a large assortment of cars. Toyota offers more diversity than few other automakers. In fact, Toyota vehicles sell for a lot when they're resold because of their outstanding quality. Even when purchasing a used Toyota, you can anticipate receiving a respectable profit when reselling it in the future. The accessibility of replacement components is another point in Toyota's advantage. You definitely don't want to buy a car and then have to wait months for a repairable part to arrive from the nation of manufacture. The brand enjoys widespread acclaim on a global scale. Therefore, your dealer will have spare parts available whether you drive a Toyota in a town in Bangladesh or a remote portion of South Africa. You may be sure you will obtain technical assistance when you need a repair because there are are mechanics who are familiar with Toyota cars everywhere. Toyota automobiles are popular for yet another reason, the engine. Toyota has created industry-leading engines that the market will never easily forget as a result of a focus on engine research and development. In 1934, the business produced its first engine, the Type A engine. That was before it produced its first passenger automobile, the Toyota AA in 1935, two years later. Toyota started making prototypes of the cask components used in the cylinder blocks and piston for the Model A engine in 1934. These prototypes were based on drawings of the 1933 Chevrolet sedan engine. It was challenging to construct the water jacket score one through which cooling water for the cylinder blocks drained. In August of the same year, a cast cylinder block was eventually finished by referring to an oil core two that corporate leaders had returned from the United States. On September 25, 1934, Toyota completed the first prototype engine. Cast components such as a cylinder head, cylinder block, and pistons were the only one produced in-house. All other parts such as crankshafts, camshafts, valves, plugs, and electrical parts were imported from Chevrolet. In contrast, when Toyota installed the prototype in a Chevrolet truck, the engine could only muster 48 to 49 horsepower during a driving test, as opposed to the 60 horsepower that the Chevrolet engine could muster. The engine eventually produced more horsepower power than the Chevrolet after consulting foreign documentation and reworking the cylinder head to accommodate the swirl combustion chamber. Toyota has advanced to the rank of engine design master from those modest beginnings. It produced the 1JZ GTE inline 6 engine for instance which has 320 horsepower and 315 pound feet of torque. The MK4 Supra truly owes its success to the 6 cylinder 2JZ GTE below its hood. An application pushing out as much as 2,000 HP, the 2JZ's nearly durable nature has been demonstrated for more than two decades. All of this is made possible by the brood of a cast iron block, which means that with only a few modifications, you might have as much as 750 horsepower. Toyota also produced the 4AGE in line 4, which had 112 HP and 97 pound-foot torque rating. This engine was largely based on Cosworth's fame B3 
VDA series of engine. It was one of the earliest fuel injected four cylinder engines with a twin cam 16 valve layout. The aftermarket is still quite supportive of this iconic four banger almost three decades later. However, Toyota has raised the bar for engines with the introduction of the dynamic force engine. The thermal efficiency king has been replaced by this new engine. Understanding gasoline thermal efficiency is essential to appreciating this new engine to its full potential. The amount of gasoline's potential energy that is transformed into force that can drive your car is known as the term. Internal combustion engines accomplish this by squeezing that gasoline into the smallest possible space with a piston, lighting it with a spark and injecting it into the cylinders in a fine spray mixed with air. When it ignites, the fuel expands and explodes forcing the piston back out with great force. The pistons then turn the crankshaft which is connected to the transmission which is connected to the drive shaft which is connected to the wheel. Various components and gears in between direct and control the power to ensure that the wheels turn but not so quickly that they simply spin faster than the tires can handle. But there's a flaw in the setup I just explained. When the combustion takes place, some of the power is lost to friction and extra heat. This renders the average gasoline combustion engine functioning at roughly 35% thermal efficiency. Engineers have been slavishly reducing energy waste and converting as much of the energy in gasoline to moving the car or powering your AC for more than a century. The engineers at Toyota look at each phase of the engine cycle and try to come up with ways to make it more effective overall, not only in terms of gas efficiency of course. They then sought for a way to boost the thermal efficiency by turning that gasoline that was saved into greater power. Toyota went to Formula 1 for inspiration because it values efficiency highly. To achieve high-speed combustion, the company adopted many technologies from racing automobiles. Toyota was able to achieve high-speed combustion and ensures that the air-fuel mixture burns more fully by making three improvements in particular. This results in more power being produced with each combustion. The proportions of the cylinder, laser-clad valve seats, and the angle of the intake valve are a few of the modifications. The air-fuel combination is spread out more evenly throughout the cylinder due to the angle of the intake valve and the form of the intake port, which leads to a more rapid and even combustion that generates more power and less waste. Additionally, the laser-clad valve seats enable the optimization of the valve angle and airflow direction to produce tumble flow, a more regulated swirl pattern in the combustion chamber that more uniformly distributes the air-fuel combination before the compression stage. Third, a taller, narrower cylinder means the igniting mixture spreads across the cylinder more quickly, speeding up the combustion moment. This forces more of the combustion moment's force to push the piston downward, increasing torque and efficiency. Toyota engineers didn't stop there. In order to increase the thermal efficiency of the new dynamic force engines, they also used other time-tested techniques. In order to increase efficiency and smooth operation while driving normally, Toyota's D4S fuel injection system combines direct and port injection. However, when maximum power is required, only direct injection is used. The pistons themselves also have a unique coating to lessen friction. A higher compression ratio further boosts efficiency and an electronic thermostat works in conjunction with an electric water pump to adjust temperature for maximum efficiency. All of these techniques result in the best thermal efficiency in the world of 41% for hybrid applications and 40% for gas-only vehicles with increased torque and power at any engine speed as well as superior fuel economy and pollutants. Toyota is fighting for every percent in the drive for efficiency thanks to the new dynamic force engine. The new 6-speed manual transmission Toyota created for international demands is compatible with the 2.0 liter 4-cylinder. Compared to Toyota's present transmission, this one is smaller, lighter, and equipped with rev matching. The dynamic force engine has been installed in the 2022 Toyota Camry. 209 PS and 253 Nm are the engine's maximum outputs, which is 25 PS and 8 Nm greater than the previous Camry with port injection. The 2022 Camry can now accelerate faster than vehicles like the Honda Accord thanks to this upgraded engine. Where the Accord loses breath, the automobile pulls incredibly hard. Wapcar drove the vehicle for nearly 300 kilometers of what they described as rough driving. The Camry's average fuel consumption was 7.7 liters per 100 kilometers, which is impressive given the kind of route, the amount of traffic, and the speeds being driven. A series of turns can be put together much more satisfyingly with the Camry's normally aspirated engine. What do you think about
about Toyota's new engine. Do you think it will be the future of every car's engine? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. That would be a wrap for today's video. We hope this has been amusing to you. If you enjoyed watching, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button together with the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. This has been High Technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. We'll see you on the next one.